Yo, this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we are looking at this five-star signature stone bundle package for $99. Now, what are my thoughts? How do I feel about this? Well, first, let's talk about the three different camps in MCOC. One are the spenders who don't care. They'll buy whatever they want to buy. Uh, you have the non-spenders who also don't care and will never spend. And you have the middle group who's like this taboo group that doesn't really want anyone to know that they're spending. And so they try to spend in secret or they try to find like the best deal or or to try to justify the fact that they spend a little bit of money in the game and that's cool so i'm really just going to show you my process on figuring out whether i would want something like this or not because one 99 is a large pill to swallow uh and you want to make sure that this is useful so let's put a couple things into perspective here so take a look here, we've got the Master Quest and finishing the Master Quest 100%, which is a pretty good amount of time, uh, at least a couple of hours straight, you know, since I did that Legend run, and that's probably about how long it took, about two hours, but most people won't do that all at the same time, they'll do it over time. And really, you only get five signature stones, uh, five five-star signature stones, that is it. Now. Uh, I think what Kabam is doing is they're really trying to place a lot of value on these signature stones. They don't come around very often and they're not all that easy to get. Uh, it's not like you get the expert proving grounds where you can get generic 5 star signature stones. That's really just for 4 stars and even that requires a little bit of a grind. So how bad do you need it uh, and do you even have the heroes where you can take advantage of it? In my case, I go into my champions and I let me see, filter out my five stars and I really only have three dupe champions um, and I don't really care to take their signature levels up that high except for possibly Captain Marvel here um, but for me spending $99 on three heroes one of which is in rank 4 is not worth it to me now maybe if my Iceman was duped maybe if this came around a little later on I might think about it but for now I don't have utility for it so I think it's a good idea for you to take a look at your champions, take a look at your roster, and then figure out whether that is worth it to you, the time you put in, how many of those master modes do you want to complete before you get 80 of the class versions, which is going to give you random, or the 20 of the generic signature stones, and see if that's worth it for you. So let me know, do you have the champions to take advantage? Do you think this is a good deal? Uh, because for now, again, this isn't worth it for me in my current situation. Why don't you sound off? Let me know where you guys are. Once again, this is Dorky Diggity Dave. You just saw my thoughts and my kind of introspection. Inspection? Introspection? Introspection? Maybe. That's probably the wrong word anyway. You can put that in the comments too. But anyway, hope you liked the video. And if you did, go ahead and click subscribe. Click like, leave a comment. Share it with your friends. Share it with your mama. All that stuff helps me out. And remember... Stay dorky and I'll catch y'all on the flip.